Okay, the last step that we're going to do in this tutorial is look at how we can take our mock-up in Adobe XD and export those assets for use on our actual websites. So let's gonna, again, I'm gonna use this first initial mock-up that I created as my sample here. So let's just zoom in here really quick and we'll take a look. Now we have to decide which things are going to be required as image assets or raster graphics and which items can we recreate in CSS uh, on the web. Now there obviously is a little bit of know-how here. You have to know exactly what elements you can and can't create in CSS to be able to do this properly. Uh, but I'll just kind of go through the step here. So this entire menu at the very top is going to be recreatable with CSS. So all of these buttons here, I can do these borders, I can do the rounded corners and the text, I can do the hover states, all that stuff I can do with CSS. So I don't need to export these menu items as image assets. Now the logo, I possibly could recreate this in CSS. In fact, I probably could, uh, but this in most cases wouldn't be recreated in CSS. So your logo is gonna be an image asset that you'll export. So we're gonna treat this the same. So I'm gonna take this logo and export that. Obviously this background image here is a JPEG, so I'm gonna to need to export that. I'm going to need to export this asset right here. I'm going to need to export all of these four assets. So anything that was originally a JPEG or a ping image that you imported into your design, you also have to export that out as assets. And then any other design elements that you created from scratch, you'll have to decide if you need to export those or not. So that's basically it. This little call to action, again, this button right here, I'm going to be able to recreate that with CSS. All the other uh, styles and colors and whatnot will just be CSS. So let's look at this process. So first we're gonna come up here to our logo and let's just go ahead and select the logo. Now the logo is made up of two different elements. So I'm gonna select them both and just group them, Command G on the keyboard so they're grouped. And notice over here in the right hand sidebar, there's an option in XD called Mark for Export. So Adobe has made this ability where you can just click this checkbox and then you're telling XD, hey, this element needs to be exported as an image asset. So let's come over here and we're going to select this as well. And you can see it's already marked for export. This uh, placeholder right here in the middle, this little image right here. And let's come over here and we're going to grab this guy as well. Now here we kind of have to make a decision because remember this element is made up of the background piece and the foreground piece. And I want those together. It's already grouped, so I can just go ahead and click the mark for export right there. And then these four assets down here are going to have to be marked for export. So there's one, two, three, four. So I can just go ahead and click mark for export on that repeating grid. And those are basically all of the assets I'm going to need to export. Now that we have those elements marked for export, let's go ahead and export them. Now, what you can do is you just go to the file menu and you go down to export and you have a few options here. If you choose batch, it's going to export all of the assets across all of your artboards that are marked for export, which we definitely don't want. So we instead are going to use selected. Now, right now I don't have any assets selected, which is why it's grayed out. So what I can do is I can just come in here and select the assets I want to export. So you hold down shift to select multiple assets. So I want that one, I want that one, I want that one, and I want that one because that's my repeating pattern. So I have all, all four of those assets now selected. So I can now come back here and say file, export, selected. And this is gonna ask me where I want these things to be saved to. I've just created a little folder here on my desktop called Andrew Design. I've already exported my entire mockup at one and two X. And now I can go ahead and export each asset. So we have a couple of options here. You can choose PNG, pings, SVGs, PDFs, or JPEGs for your image assets. Now, for lack of understanding, we're just going to go with PNG for right now. In a future video tutorial, we're going to cover exactly what PNG, JPEG, SVG, GIF, all the differences between all the different file types that are used on the web, as far as compression, bit depth, transparency features, animation, all that sort of stuff. But right now, let's just go ahead and choose PNG for our file format. Now, if we choose the design option, you'll see that all of your, ex all of your assets are going to be exported at 1x. Basically, that means at the resolution you're looking at. If you choose web, your assets will be exported at 1x and 
2x if you have higher resolution images imported into your document. And then iOS and Android, of course, are for the app world, which we don't need to worry about because this is specifically for apps. So we're going to choose web and our assets are designed at 1x, meaning we designed them as we saw them on our screen at the resolution uh, of our screen, which is 1x. So let's go ahead and select that and then we'll just go ahead and press export and it will do its thing. Let's go ahead and now jump over here to our finder window. We'll just come in here to our desktop and to our little folder here. And now you can see that Adobe has exported all of these assets. Let's actually come into this view right here. Whoops. Okay, so actually let's come into, I don't know, maybe this view. There we go. So we have all of our assets inside of here. You can see there's my two mockups that I exported earlier. And then here's the individual pieces. So there's the normal version. Notice the file name here doesn't have anything on it. And then if I click over on the second version, it has an at 2x, meaning this is twice the resolution of this one. And then same here, here's the regular one. And then here is the at 2x version. And then here's my logo normal and then logo at 2x. There's my repeating grid elements and my repeating grid elements at 2x. Now you could also individually break these up. If I didn't want the entire four set saved off as, as an entire image block, which I don't, I would want these as individual images, we can do that as well. So we can come back in here and we can go inside of this repeating grid. So let's just zoom in a click or two here. So if I want to export individual assets inside of a repeating grid element, you first have to uh, break it apart, in, if you will. So what you can do is you select on your repeating grid element. Notice it's still a repeating grid because I still have my bars here. And you come up to the top right and you say ungroup grid. So when I click on the ungroup grid, it essentially destroys that repeating grid element. And now I'm left with just the individual elements. So now I can hold down shift and select all four of those elements, come back up to my file export and choose my selected again. And this time I'll just go ahead and click export. And you can see now when I jump back to my folder here, I've got a large and small resolution for each individual object inside of that repeating grid instead of before where we just had all four in a single image. So if you have a repeating grid, that's how you can split it apart and export each individual asset. Now let's just look at file size really quick so you can see this. Notice that the 1x version is, there we go, 125 kilobytes. The double resolution version is 461 kilobytes. And same here, so this one's four kilobytes and the double one is seven kilobytes. So of course the images with greater resolution are gonna have a lot greater file size as well. And that is the basic process. So now that we have all of our assets exported here in our folder, we can then go ahead and start to build out our HTML, CSS and start the next process of actually designing and building the actual website based on our mockup from Adobe XD. So join in the next tutorial where we're going to be starting our intro to HTML. We're going to learn all of the basics of HTML in the crash course coming up. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson and we will see you in the next one.